Hello everyone, it's Emily here and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I am back with my monthly favourites and this time I'm so excited to show you guys my March favourites and what I've been loving this month. I've got some Netflix recommendations, a film recommendation, some hair products and trust the day that I'm filming and I'm recommending and showing you my favourite hair products to be the day that my hair does not want to stop falling in front of my face. It's always the way, if you're going to recommend hair products, your hair's never going to be the one. It's never going to be the one that day. But that is fine and I'm so excited to start this video and show you guys what I have been loving this month. So if you do enjoy watching today's video, please remember as always to give it a huge thumbs up and please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. So let's get started. So I think we might as well start with what has just come out on Netflix, what I have just finished watching this morning and I can't believe I've already binge watched it. I told myself I wouldn't. I thought I'd pace myself but I just couldn't resist and now I'm, I'm got to wait another year for the next series to come out. Unless it comes out sooner or later, I don't know, but I'm, I'm just obsessed. And that is, of course, Bridgerton. I'm, the minute it came out last Christmas, I have been absolutely obsessed. I loved season one and I equally loved season two. I won't give any spoilers, so don't you worry. But obviously there are eight siblings in the Bridgerton family. You've got... Anthony, Benedict, Colin, Daphne, Eloise, Francesca, Gregory and Hyacinth and it's every single book and therefore every single series is going to be based on each sibling. So the first series we saw how Daphne came to meet her partner and so this series it is all about the oldest, it is all about Anthony finding his wife. I just can't believe I finished it this morning guys. I loved it, but then I literally wanted to cry because I was like, now nah, I've got to wait. I've got to wait for the next series to come out. But I know they are, I think they're guaranteed series three and four. But there are eight siblings in the Bridgerton family, which means there could be eight series or more. But I've got to wait another year. Oh, I'm so gutted. However, while I've been in this little Bridgerton bubble, I thought I might as well get myself in a nice headspace and I finally started reading the books. I have nearly finished the first book and I just absolutely love it. It's made me fall in love with the first series over again through this book and I'm definitely, when I finish reading this book, I'm 100% going to go and re-watch the first series because it's just going to make me love it. It's just going to make me love it even more. They just give you a greater insight into the world of Bridgerton. I'm really intrigued to see what storylines they incorporated maybe from other books into the first series and then also into the second series because it is in the book very much focused on just Daphne and Simon. There's nothing really about the Featherington family. So I'm really intrigued when I start reading the other books when their storylines start incorporated in. I loved it. I've been a nice little... Bridgerton bubble and if you haven't seen it then yes I recommend and if you are craving more and you haven't read the books do exactly what I'm doing and grab grab the books and I also love how inclusive the Netflix series is so this is 100% my favourite March recommendation. Right so the next product I'm going to recommend is been all over my TikTok so much so that I just thought you know what I'm going to give it a go and that is hair rollers. These are from Boots, these are from Primark. I've got some smaller ones, some a lot larger ones and I am addicted. I have layers at the front of my face and I just thought I'd get them, it would give me a little bit more of a shaping, a little bit of volume, a bit of texture to my hair and I just did not know how to style them. I had no idea. I thought I would give this a go. It's been all over my TikTok. I've not looked back. Every time I go out, every time I'm with my head down, I curl my hair, anything, I will put in a hair roller, especially at the front. Just roll it up, as you probably saw in my last video, um, for my fringe, my fringe, for my, my bangs. I've got like these like strand bits. Can you see? I've got like these like layers here. But these rollers, have saved me. 
I just love them. I love the way that my, they make my hair look. I love the volume it gives me. I love the shape it gives my hair, honestly. Just give it a go. I've seen so such amazing results from it and i just don't think i can go back from it now so thank you tiktok thank you for the roller trend i am i'm loving it and if you want to give your hair volume if you've got bags if you've got a fridge if you have got layers and you just feel like they're not giving you what you want out of it then go and buy yourself some rollers just give it a go because i did and i was skeptical and now i'm addicted and it is part of my routine now go grab rollers i highly highly recommend so since we are on the hair theme i might as well show you guys the other product or products that i have been absolutely obsessed with i'm addicted to i was skeptical at first again and then i took the plunge and i haven't haven't looked back and that is olaplex i've heard of olaplex for quite some time i know it's quite spenny it does cost a little bit more coin than most hair products so i was a bit like is it just a luxury myth i don't know i don't want to waste money and it not be good it has done my hair wonders so i'll give you a little backstory when it comes to my hair so probably for around three years from about the age of mm, I'd want to say like 17 to 20 I used to bleach my hair platinum blonde and I got a bit addicted to bleaching my hair I used to go and get it done professionally and it got to the point that from the last time I bleached my hair I was practically silver I loved it however I needed to change up because I could definitely see that my hair was damaged it was nowhere near as long nowhere near as thick as it is now and then it came to about mm, i want to say eight months ago and i still just felt like my hair hasn't fully recovered from my previous hair history of bleaching it and it would get to about i'd want to say here and then it just wouldn't grow past that if it did grow past that it was like really Thin, it was getting breakage it just wasn't the one and I got recommended this by a work colleague to go and try Olaplex and I can just see I can feel the difference that it has made my hair just feels so much softer so much thicker it doesn't feel like there's damage it has grown like I do not remember the last time my hair was this long and felt this healthy I just can't and I 100% think it is down to Olaplex. So I might as well tell you the Olaplex products that I use. So the first one is the original Olaplex Hair Perfector number three. I also use the Olaplex number six Bond Smoother, which is this one. I use the Olaplex number seven Bonding Oil. And then I also use the Olaplex number eight Bond Intense Moisture Mask. So they're the four Olaplex products that I use. I haven't tried the shampoo or conditioner yet. I kind of wanted to try the more leave-in products because obviously shampoo and conditioner are washing wash out products. So I kind of thought the more treatment ones would probably be the best one to start off with. And then I might try the shampoo and conditioner later on. So if you are suffering with hair damage, breakage, split ends, you feel like your hair won't grow any much more. You feel like you've lost thickness to your hair from heat damage or from bleaching your hair anything like that go and give olaplex a try it is an investment it's not the cheapest i know that i get mine on look fantastic they do lots of discounts and good deals on there and package deals as well for these products if you fancy giving it a go so yes it is an investment but i took the plunge and i love it so that is another one of my March recommendations this month. So this product is my makeup product for today's monthly favourites video. And I've seen this advertised on TV, I've seen it on my socials, and I thought I'd give it a go. I love trying new products, I love trying new makeup products, especially now that I've gone from wanting more of a full coverage look to more, or to make more natural. Sometimes I just want something that just is like, what's the word? 
no makeup makeup that's exactly what i mean and this product gives me exactly that and it is the rimmel london kind and free moisturizing skin tint foundation if you want something that is just going to even out your skin tone your skin doesn't feel like it is caked in makeup this is the product for you i definitely feel like i am an all or nothing kind of girl or if that's definitely what i used to be i used to love just full coverage looks i used to love it but in the last couple of months i have been wanting something that just feels natural i want something that will just even at my skin tone just make me feel a little bit more awake a little bit more alive and this is exactly what i needed it says what it is on the tin it is a skin tint foundation and that's exactly what it is it is light coverage but it just feels great on the skin it is really easy really lovely to blend out and if i do want to conceal a few spots brighten my under eyes i can do that with concealer like i don't need a full coverage foundation with a full coverage concealer as well and that is why i've been loving it and that is why it is in today's favorites video so the next item i have been loving this month is actually an item of clothing if you saw my last video you would know that last week i went to a club i went out out for the first time since covid and i had no idea what to wear i am definitely more of a jeans and a nice top kind of girl but i just didn't fancy wearing jeans to a club so i scoured the internet to find some cool nice trousers to wear and i came across these and i am i'm obsessed and it is these beautiful leather looking flared trousers i was skeptical at first when i saw them they're different from what i usually wear but i just don't know if they're a gonna suit me and b gonna fit me and i was so happy that they did they suit with me they fitted me they looked absolutely amazing i just love the leather look i love the flared legs to them and i love the lace detailing i don't know if you can see but it is laced all the way down the side i will leave a little video of me i'll probably put on what i wore out because i love that outfit and i just absolutely love them and they can be styled with so many other tops that i own and i'm just so excited to wear them out again they're just exactly what i was missing in my wardrobe and that is why they are part of my February favourites this month. So if they're still available on Pretty Little Thing, of course, I'll link everything down below. So go and check them out. They just fitted me so nicely. They just fitted exactly how I wanted to. And I can't wait to wear them again and again and again. We are now on to my final favourite for this month. And I am going to be recommending you guys my all-time favourite film i tell people this is my favorite film and i am shocked by the amount of people who tell me they still haven't watched this film and i'm just like what how have you not seen my favorite film how have you not seen this so this is why it is in today's favorites video because i need to recommend you guys this film if you haven't seen it and that is dirty dancing Dirty Dancing is my all-time favourite film. This whole month before Bridgerton came out on Friday, I have been in a Dirty Dancing bubble. And that is because at the beginning of this month, there was a little TV series, reality TV series, that was hosted by Keith Lemon and Ashley Roberts called The Real Dirty Dancing, where a group of celebrities went to their own Kellermans to recreate and reenact all the amazing scenes and dances from Dirty Dancing in order to become the ultimate baby and Johnny. And I love that show. It was so funny. It was so great to watch. They all looked like they had the best time filming it. And then coincidentally, the day after the final, I went to finally see Dirty Dancing the musical and it did not it did not disappoint so it's still in the west end at the moment so if you haven't seen it go and see it if you can it is amazing they are so good the actors that play johnny and baby are actually together in real life which kind of made the whole thing even better because when they were dancing together you know they're actually together and 
oh, it was just so good. I love Dirty Dancing. It is my all-time, all-time favourite film. It is just a film that I can watch again and again, and it still makes me feel the exact same as when I first saw it. I just love it, and it is always, I don't think anything's ever going to top Dirty Dancing. So that is why I'm recommending it to you today. And also if you love Dirty Dancing and you haven't checked out the musical or checked out the real Dirty Dancing, such a laugh and such a funny little TV show to watch. I highly recommend that. But if you haven't seen Dirty Dancing and I'm surprised this month by how many people I have discovered out of my friend group that hasn't seen Dirty Dancing, go and watch it because I hope it makes you feel the same way that I do every time I watch it. I feel like after filming this, I need to go and watch it again. I just love Dirty Dancing and I don't care. It is my favorite film guys. So if you haven't seen it, go and watch it. And if you have watched it, go and watch it again because it is my favorite film. Go enjoy, go watch and let me know what you think of it. So that is the end of today's favorites video, my March edition. And let me know if you guys enjoy anything I have recommended today. If you're gonna go and watch, go and try any of my recommendations, I will always leave anything down below and linked for you guys to check out. And if you have enjoyed watching today's video, please remember as always to leave it a huge thumbs up and please remember to subscribe and I will see you next time with a brand new video. Bye.